Alan Simmons and my partners, Brianna Praley, we are conducting interviews to get the different views on gun violence in different communities. The title of our film is called The Fight Against Gun Violence. So, to start off, has gun violence played any effects on you in your life? We're walking around Oakland trying to find people to do interviews on. Say hi, Ray. <laughs> we should ask this man right here. I'm about to record everything. We would hear the gunshots every night. Do you know anyone who suffered from gun violence? friends back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> and how how has gun violence impacted you in your life? In my life, I mean, I lost a couple of friends to like shootings and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, I don't like think that the guns are the problem. Have you ever heard of any gun violence happening in your neighborhood or anything? Yeah. Oh, what? Close by, like not immediately, a neighbor. Streets over. Okay, about that it was very upsetting. Uh, the guy killed his wife and he killed himself. Fight the power! Fight the power! Um, I'd like to take a step in a different direction. What are your thoughts on the um, police brutalities that have been happening in it's just about the past two years? Uh, well, it's definitely been more in the news. I think it's been going on for a long time, but it just um, because there's more people have phones and cameras and stuff that we know more about it. It's so, not changed since like police were instated, which were to keep African Americans sedated. And it's just because of smartphones and cameras and video recording, you can put it on the news. Uh, it's good that it's getting out there. It's just they're getting off. Thoughts on police brutality? My thoughts on police brutality. Um, it's awful. It's something that I hate seeing. Um, I mean, last year, I feel like there were a lot of instances of unarmed black men being assaulted or killed by police officers. Um, and when it just kind of like kept seeing a new story come every couple of weeks or every month or so, it was really like emotionally troubling for me to like deal with and then talk about with people. It's just I don't know, it's sickening. Say blame. I'm going to say responsibility is always shared by everybody who's involved with that problem. Um, so yeah, I think the, the police officers who commit these things are often in the wrong, but I think there are reasons for that. You know, I think that they have incredibly dangerous jobs. I think the police officers aren't very well paid or well respected, um, and I think that they have a lot of stress. And I don't think they have a lot of emotional support either. I mean, if you think about the fact that as a police officer. You're seeing people in their worst situations every day, people selling drugs, people in awful, you know, homes that are falling apart, drug infested, you're seeing dead bodies, you're seeing suicides, you're seeing all these things. To my knowledge, there's not, you know, a lot of therapy or anything like that that's really available on a consistent basis for police officers. And I would just think that, that would all be really, really hard to deal with. And I could see why that might develop some psychological issues that then might play out in how they interact with members of the community when they're trying to, you know. Fight against gun violence. Thanks for watching.